<laughs> it's like well, better, doesn't matter how much I sleep, it's gonna be in yeah. there for a little bit. Gang, 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 gang. Right, cool. I feel like I never tell you, like, yo, man, so how's life? How's it been going? Because I see you fucking every day. Every day. Basically. So whatever happened, I already <laughs> told you. like, ah, you've been telling me that shit, man. It was like, yo, remember what? Oh, they went, dude. Yo, I... Oh, they went. <laughs> I told you that already. It's like, yeah. How, how was your trip last weekend? My trip? Well, I don't know. I hung out with two idiots. I don't really know them very well. <laughs> I believe you. I believe you. How was that? I don't even like, you know, it was, like, it was weird. Because, like, when I was... In the moment, and even thinking, like, just thinking about it, it felt like we didn't do much. But then I started thinking about it, and I started breaking into all the things we did. And we did a lot. Yeah, yeah, a lot of shit got done, for sure. So I was like, this is crazy how when you're traveling. I said, they happened when we went to New York. Like, I was thinking, like, yo, we really didn't do that much, but we did a lot. Ah, you crazy. You really felt like that? I felt like, like time flew, you know? Because think about it. It was fast. And also, also, almost in New York, almost every night, we were already back in the crib by, like, at 9 p.m. Almost every nah, night. I don't think so. Yeah. Bro. 9, 10 p.m. Nah, man. I don't think so, bro. Yeah, bro. You facts. Wrong no, that, I'm, bro. I'm being serious. I'm being serious. 9, facts. 10 p.m. 9, 10 p.m. There's no way, bro. We're, we're probably back at the crib maybe like 11, 30, 12. Okay, fine. But my point is we weren't even out like that late because we got our home. We left the place early. Yeah, so, bro, so Because we like, walked like the travel, Yeah, I think the traveling thing, the thing about traveling that's weird is like time flies. So you might think like, I didn't do much. Nah. And also, the other thing is that, uh, like, I feel like when you travel, you just... There's never enough time to do everything. So yeah, yeah. So we had a great time in Orlando. I love Orlando. Uh, you know what? Best Epcot. part. Best part about Orlando. Epcot. Uh, this trip. Epcot. Epcot. Epcot is always the best part. I think for me, Epcot is like the combination of things I like. So it has like food, it has culture, yeah. it has the homies. You know, it, it's the first time I did something new in Epcot. Uh, uh, with the, the ride. Yeah. I for, I completely forgot about. It. Does Epcot have any more rides? Yeah, over? they have some I mean, dope rides. Mexico, but no, no, they have rides. Rides. Like roller coasters? They have uh, well, they have one that is like a virtual reality that can mess you up if you if you don't like. Oh really? It's like, it's like real. Trippy? Like you go in space basically, so yeah. you feel like the force, like you feel when it's going up. You're like, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, like you feel like the yeah. You get like lifted yeah, up. Yeah, and so like, and it's all visual because reality you're not really moving. Yeah, yeah. But it messes you up, and then there's another one which is a fast track, which you design your car and then you race in it, and it is, and it's dope. But you mentioned it for real or like, like you design that and it's like a roller like it's like I guess it's like a roller coaster because it doesn't really have like it just goes really fast and you go through a track. That's a lot of Yeah. Yeah, but you see it's like shit that I feel like I haven't like come Yeah, I know because the thing is that when we go to Epcot we usually just go around the world, right? Yeah, exactly. But tomorrowland is where the rides are. Uh, so we, we So like tomorrow the first thing you see, like if we go through Right, you know where that where that fountain thing was now today? Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, you go to the right or to the left is tomorrow left. Then you keep going, you go into around the world, which is the countries. Oh, okay, so, so we always go straight to around the world. We never yeah, really yeah. go to tomorrow left. So that's why you really haven't seen that's what I tell you like Epcot's dope. Epcot has rides, like yeah. some nice little rides. Next time, next time I gotta take advantage yeah. of that for sure. Because Epcot obviously it doesn't have the level of roller coasters that Magic Kingdom does. Uh, or that Aerosmith one, which was insane. Yeah, I know. In Hollywood City, <laughs> yeah. yeah was dope. Uh, but it, it does have a couple of ni- neat rides and a couple of neat things. Like they have the soaring, which I think I've gone on it once, and it was nice. And it like takes you like through like the country and yeah, like the yeah, world yeah. or whatever. It has a couple of different things. Okay. So, um, we've been gone for a little while. Yeah, I feel like we've been like. Yeah. Good. It's really it's been like two weeks, but it feels like forever. Right? Yeah. No, not two weeks, bro. Yeah, we we didn't record. We didn't record the week before. We did it, you sure? We, last week, obviously, we did it. The week before, we did it, didn't we? Nah, well, obviously, the last week. I think, yeah, I think the week was... It's like a week, but it's been, Yeah, it's but it feels like it's a week. It's not like a week. Well, we really record on the weekend, Yeah, so. I know, but it, I feel like it's been a long time. Just like I feel like it's been a long time since I've been in the gym. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel fucked up right now. Yeah, My whole feel, body, I don't like, know. I feel better now, but I was feeling rough, bro. Yeah. So, this is giving me allergies, look. Drugs. You see all the, the bumps? Is it, is it... Are you allergic to dust? Oh, like, like crazy! Like my crazy. Room's like but, not, full of but it's not this because when I was before I was even coming in, I could feel my nose getting stuffy. Yeah. But now I'm looking at this and getting itchy. I'm like, some, uh, there must have been something I touched um, before I got here. You gotta stop touching yourself. I always tell you, you stop touching well, yourself. Well, how bad would it be if you were allergic to yourself? No, but you touch yourself inappropriately all the time. I was trying to tell you, stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so because I'm touching my private parts, I get allergies. Yeah. This is guys what I'm telling me, Chris, I'm being a perp. Of course, because you don't know what's going on. Girls, there. you see why I can't, I can't be dated? Apparently, according to George, I'm a perp who gets you, allergies. You don't know what's in those areas. You don't know, like, maybe. My palm? No, I'm saying, like, what's contaminating those areas? So you think I have dirty body, private? 
but think about it. You eat something and you scratch your butt. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm saying like you know you eat stuff right and like you you exit out of there. You scratch your butt. It could have like like you know like because think about it. Realistically, when you go and like you know do your business, unless you got like wet wipes or like that, you don't really keep. I always carry wet wipes. So every time you go to the bathroom, you carry wet wipes. Awesome. There's no fucking wet wipes. <laughs> no, I have wet in the car. That is not true. I have wet in my house. And you use them to use the bathroom. All the time. So you take, you you go to your car, get those wet wipes, you gotta go somewhere well, public. Because think about it, realistically, I never take a dump in public. Never. But I'm saying, usually, but if you had to, though. If I had to. You're not taking those wet wipes with you. I had to, I would. <laughs> you're not. I'll call so somebody. Like, I'll call somebody. Yo, no, yo, go to my car. No, you're, <laughs> you're not. not. No, you're not. That's weird. That would be like, yo, bro, I'm like in the middle of so, so I'm, I'm in just, the, I'm in the stall. Beat. No way you're doing through. that. There's no way you're doing that. Yo, I don't test my good friend. If my good friend does it, if you don't do it for me, you're not a good friend. I wouldn't do that shit for you. You're not my friend anymore. I'm gonna yeah. follow you on Facebook. <laughs> What's up with your thing on Facebook? Now? Because I feel like that's the funniest yeah. thing there is. You know, like, because Instagram is like, eh, Instagram is shallow. Like, Instagram is shallow. So, is it? like, you know, like, we all just want to front on Instagram. Like, Instagram is shallow. Twitter. Yeah. Everywhere. Twitter. No, no, no. I'm saying, but Twitter is like, it's like, I just, I want to be either clever or I want to be sap, like snappy, you know? Because I want to either, like, Say something clever, or I want to just go off on people, or or rat, like rant, or whatever. That's Twitter, right? Okay. And Instagram is shallow. It's just like I want to show you the best of my life and the best of what I do with who I am, and blah 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 blah. Okay, Picture okay. perfect. And then there's Facebook. Like Facebook, you have to be nice and whatever because your mom is following you on Facebook. All right, all right, all right let's break this down. I like that you brought this up. Let's break this down. Okay. So you think Facebook, you need to be nice and Facebook. I feel like everybody, everybody's more like... Yeah, family members. More, everybody's more welcoming in Facebook because you're a family. Like, is your family who follows you from a country that... You know, like, they'll see a picture of you and they haven't seen you in 10 years in real life. And they're like, Miria Jorjito, que bonito. Like, like, in, yeah, I think probably, that's probably more dominant Hispanic culture. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know about, like... Because uh, like whites, cause, I mean, even even like uh, you know, I was reading an article this week that the Facebook numbers are dropping like crazy. Yeah, I would right. And, and so, and obviously, a part of it has to play on with what Zuckerberg did and what's yeah, going yeah, on yeah. with the whole scandal. But part of it is also like the the appeal, you know. Well, I mean, the thing is, like, a lot of, women have a new thing. Well, a lot of people have their Instagram connected to Facebook. Yeah, so anything that they put on Instagram, yeah, Twitter too. It yeah, comes yeah, up yeah. on Twitter too. Wait, what? Like, for example, uh, like... So anything you tweet will come up on Facebook? No, no. Vice, like, you can tweet uh, whatever you post oh, on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that, but I'm, I'm saying, like, so... Okay, so, for example, like, a lot of people have their, like... So, like, there's literally a connection between... Because, yeah, you know, Facebook yeah, is going to say shit, basically. So, it's like, Instagram everything you post in your story will be in your fa- in your Facebook story. Oh, yeah. you post in your... Yeah, you got, like, you got a connection. Well, automatically, you just do it. You know what I mean? And anything, obviously, like, you know, like, I know about that. Like, it'll go, like, from Facebook or yeah. Instagram or go to Twitter. Yeah. It'll be, like, a link. But, okay. So, you think that Facebook is, like, a family. Like, okay, this is where I got to be polite. Yeah. Because, like, rarely, at least in my opinion, I'm, I might be wrong because some of you take Facebook and I see, like, I see people rap on some posts. I've seen that before. But, like, more in, in like, my specific scenario, all right? This is, that's how I break down. Twitter, Twitter is, like, either you want to post something inspiring and clever with your words, mm-hmm. or you want to just rant or something or whatever, you know? Okay. Um, I, I think Instagram is, is just a facade, like, you know, like, you want to put your best foot forward. Okay, okay. And then right. Facebook is, like, that more, I, like, I, eco-friendly, uh, <laughs> Uh, souls in whatever I want to so, buy shoes so, or what, so what you're saying is Facebook is equivalent to like you go into like a, a family barbecue and you gotta kind of like play nice with everybody yeah, yeah. smile and in regards to your followers right and then there's the other aspect of Facebook which is like you want to buy stuff like like shoes and stuff like the but even then at that point people are gonna respect each other like like so you think Facebook then is like more civilized the, okay so Facebook is like I guess like the the internet version of what real world like yeah is. yeah because you you always gonna find jerks right let me know yeah. there's jerks in Facebook too but in Facebook people post news like yo look at this look at that also um there's like that whole market where people are actually respectful you bought shoes before though you know people don't yeah. really trip someone would someone would tell you like yo don't follow this guy don't do this yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. he's a fake right, so Facebook is the like the internet version of real life yeah I also and then so. Instagram is your be- best way forward. It's your movie type, your, your highlight reel. Nah, I would say Instagram is like high school then. Yeah, Instagram yeah. Instagram is like your high school. Like you want to pretend like you're cool. Yeah, you're yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like an, Insta- an Instagram, because you know like what, what, I, what I've been like looking at lately is like these social media platforms 
are really like like worlds. Yeah, like they're yeah. like their own world, yeah. their own like city or their own universe, yeah. their own planet. You know what I mean? Like like you're literally in there. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. And even though you're not in there, like like literally, you know, more 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 than likely, maybe like you know, thirty years from now, right? Like you know, like you see movies now. There's gonna be like a time where like humans are gonna be like in VR mm-hmm. and like you know, yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. They're gonna be in a whole virtual like, world, like Player One or whatever the movie. Exactly, called. you know, like like everything, will, like real world will be to shit. Yeah, and, like the virtual world is what matters. You know what I'm saying? Like what you accomplish there matters. Yeah. So it's almost like you know the small version of today, right? Of what course. You accomplish on social media is what matters, right? So I started looking at some of these things nowadays. Like like for example, um, I wouldn't. So if Facebook. Is like real world, right? Like you know, you're trying to be nice to yeah. everybody for the most yeah. part. There's marketplaces, there's businesses that take place. Um, there's interactions yeah. that you know with your boss and all that shit, whatever. And then Instagram is more like a private, like more secluded kind of like realm in a way. You know what I'm saying? Like you're exposed to like, for example, like you know, being exposed to like the hot chicks. You're exposed to like the buff guys. Yeah, you're exposed, you know, you're exposed to what's popping, what's popping, what's popping, what's exactly, not popping. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's, it's like a, a mini pop culture thing yeah. within high school. You know what I'm saying? High school is like a whole popularity yeah. contest. Yeah, yo, look at this, check it out. Follow this page, follow yeah, this guy, exactly. follow this girl, blah, blah, blah. You, you saw that story, you saw where they were exactly. at. Exactly. Like, yeah, like that whole, like, I guess you could say high school slash college, right? Type. Yeah. Well, type shit, yeah, yeah, you could say that. And then, so what would, um, what would you say Twitter is? I, I think... Twitter is funny because Twitter has a little bit of everything. Like Twitter has gossip, like people are gossiping like crazy. Twitter has, but I think Twitter has the most trolls. What? I, I think Twitter? Twitter has the most trolls. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think Twitter's. Twitter is our 2019 version of what VR is gonna be 30 years. From now. <laughs> like, let me step in. Let me see what. I'm gonna tell you why. I realized on Twitter. That people do shit in Twitter that they will never do in real life. Oh, yeah. That they will never yeah, say in real life. Like the expressing, you know like the girls that be talking right Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Twitter is like the place where like people just go in there to to leave something there that they will never do in the real world. Like, in the real world, like, they wouldn't say this shit out loud. Or they wouldn't really, you know what I'm saying, say how they say it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like It's people, like a freedom. Yeah, it's like people just go on Twitter to talk shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like... It's almost like they go in there to say something like like as if they have like zero followers and nobody's gonna watch or like nobody's no, looking for or, or like or they say things and like I don't know a lot. Twitter for me sometimes is is just it proves that people just love to talk crap. Because yeah. some people will say some things and your only response is gonna be like, Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Why yeah, would he post yeah, this? Exactly. I, I honestly and I've, I've said this before plenty of times. Why the fuck <laughs> do people go on Twitter to say shit that is, like, to me, is crazy? Yeah. I hate people that go on Twitter to say something and then later on tweet saying some shit like, oh, it's just Twitter. It's just, like, wait, what? Because if you really think about it, like, 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 look at it like this. If you just tweeted something that's crazy, right, and then you want to tweet later on saying it's just Twitter... Then shouldn't I take that tweet as in like you're lying about this? Yeah, because, because it's just Twitter, right? Because you're just saying it's just so Don't take it serious. You know, I shouldn't take that, that tweet, tweet serious either. That's like that's like uh, when somebody be, be talking reckless and then they hit you with that. But I'm just saying though, that yeah, is exactly yeah, like yeah, equivalent, yeah, yeah, yeah. equivalent of like you know like you know what? it's just talk. Yeah. Is it really just talk? Because if it was really just talk, you took too long. You took a long time and a lot of effort yeah. to just say something reckless. Exactly. You went on your phone. You opened the app. You typed this mug up. You had the chance to delete it. Be like, nah. But you posted that mug. So I don't know if it's just Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you, bro. I feel like some people... I, I really don't... I guess, like, when you try to understand it, like, like, I don't know if it's like... I think, I actually, well, at least for me, part of my understanding is I just think it's attention. Yeah, for sure. I say like, like, like you're seeking. Like for example, like the people that push shit, like um, like oh, I can never get a girlfriend. Uh, like I can never get a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Like you know, oh my god, like I'm ugly. You know, people that push shit like mm-hmm. that. I feel like you're asking for like the, the person pity. to hit you yeah, up. Like pity. no, don't say that. Pity. You're, you're beautiful. Pity, yeah. Like you know, or like you know, we're, we're, something along those realms. I feel like that's what people I, are I, seeking. I feel like everybody's seeking attention until it backfires. Like a girl would say something like you know. 
that could be deemed uh, inappropriate yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then dudes will be like, oh, she had this or she had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she'll hit you with that. It's just Twitter, bro. Relax. Yeah. Yo. Because at that point, she got burnt. The crazy part is when girls post something nasty, like they try to get sexual yeah. or whatever. And like, you know, I was, every time you say something sexual, you catch my attention. I, I'll back. <laughs> I, 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 off the bat, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if you got comments. I'm trying to see like what people are saying. So I, I click in that thing. It's always guys. Guys, oh, I'll be the guy. You know, fucking dumbass. Yeah, right? all the time trying to take a shot. Yeah, yeah, trying to take a shot. And I'm just laughing at the thing. And then somewhere along the lines, I always find somebody saying, "Oh my god!" Like you just said, it's not that serious. It's like, bro, let me tell you something. Bro. You just put out in the world what we, what one motherfuckers look at and porn all the fucking time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bitches in porn will be like, oh my god, touch my knee right there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we don't ever think that that shit happens in real life until the girl says, yo, you ever got your back and your knee touch? <laughs> it's like, it's like, you know, people say, yo, sex is cool. No, no, no. You ever got the back of your knee touch? I want to meet you, girl. If that is you, I want to meet you. <laughs> now I'm saying, when the girl puts some crazy shit like that, but you gotta, like, be ready for what's coming for that, bro, because what's coming is gonna be wild. Yeah, I want to meet the girl that goes, that goes, you ain't never made love until you never had sex. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever you want to say, just be wild until you yeah, have your yeah. baby. The, the popular thing is right now is like, oh, sex is cool and all, but have, have, you, tried, have yeah, you ever yeah. blank 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 right? Like, have you ever tried tacos? Have yeah. you ever had? Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. That, that's like the popular thing. So people are putting all this type of shit out there. So it's like, like yo, I don't understand. Like, cause like so many people I know, it's like yo, I know you in person. You don't talk like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Why do you, you know what I'm saying, like, choose to express yourself I, I, in this I way? think it's just like a, like a certain, uh, it gives you like a certain sense of security. Like, you can, like, it's kind of like, like, you can say something and you don't expect there's repercussions. Yeah. Because it's, because it's Twitter. Because right, it's right, just right, Twitter. Right. The problem is that it's been proven by lots of the scenarios that those tweets come back to bite you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Lots of the scenarios. You know, but then there's another way of looking at it. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, you have thoughts throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? Thoughts are like, like you know, for the most yeah. part, keep to yourself. You don't ever think about. And I think that that's some of the things that people kind of do in Twitter too. They kind of yeah. rush, like, like, I had this thought, oh, fuck it, let me go ahead. Yeah, and exactly, it. but it's a reflection of the fact that, you know, you, you speak before you think. Right, right. You tweet before you think. You should. You should. No, you no, no. Out there. No, I'm saying, but no, no. You should think before you tweet. But the same way wait, that wait, people you say you tweet before, before you, you think. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should nah, think. I think you should tweet yeah. before you think sometimes. I'm, I'll be honest. <laughs> I think you should because that that's because the, then we want to be talking about this shit right now. Yeah, right. Right. It gives us content. It yeah. gives us content. Yeah. So I think but but I, and I'm and I'm pretty sure because I've seen it. I've seen people do this. They feel some type of way. But they don't have the maturity, or I don't know if it's maturity or wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know which one it is. Maybe wisdom is, of course, maturity. Yeah, yeah. You decide. But to just be like, you know what? Hmm, this is how I feel about this. No, we're not going to go into it. No. Yeah. Yo, you know what's funny? When guys are... Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if it's like the choices of people I've chosen to follow. But I feel like that's all my timeline is about niggas and shit. Yo, there's this one girl who... <laughs> you trying <laughs> like, Yo, I ain't even playing with you. I promise you... I feel like in one week, she goes through like seven different phases about men. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she'll be like talking about her baby dad and, oh, this nigga ain't shit, blah, 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 whatever, 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 right? And then like probably like two days later, like, oh, I ain't gonna lie, but I just love him anyway. Like, <laughs> and then, just, you know, she'll go through like, oh, fuck so, so. Um, You know, when I start getting uh, my own, blah, 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 and then like maybe two days later, she'll be like, I can't from, bro. This motherfucker, I just love this nigga. Right? So, I'm so, like, hold the fuck So she's on. showing you like on real time what she feels. It's like, it's like, you on know. On real time. It's, it's like, it's gotten to the point where like, you know, you, the thing that you will tell your friends or like yeah. you will express is that you just express them on the yeah, platform, you know what I'm saying? So. I mean, and, and Twitter was one of, like, the original, I guess, social medias in the sense, right? It was, like, one of the first, yeah. was it? And it, it, it's one of, uh, yeah. I think Twitter stuff. Twitter's been for a while. It's been for, no, like, a little minute now, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think it's one of, like, I don't want to say OG now, because I'm not too, you know, like, super, like, I guess, knowledgeable about social media. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't. Siri, when did Twitter start? A long time. That's 13 years ago. God, that's what I'm saying. You see, so it might be one of like the first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, well, one of, definitely one of the first that's still standing. At least, yeah. yeah. God, when I was remember, Facebook? Remember, started. high five. When um, did Facebook start? I can't get the answer to that. Oh, because you heard your fire. When did Facebook start? Facebook was formed February 4th, 2004. So, right there, two years difference. Damn. Two years difference. A long time. 
I mean, you, so you think he's been started from this? Yeah. He's been here for like a while now. I was talking about 15 years. Shit. That's a long ass fucking time. And in that case, I was still. Maybe I'm still maybe, new in this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, but maybe in our circles, I would say Twitter's more relevant than Facebook, though. In young people, at least. Yeah? Well, oh, wait, wait. Well, yeah, Facebook, yeah, yeah, not Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's Instagram. Right. I mean right. Facebook, yeah, not Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Instagram yeah. is Facebook, but not that. You're absolutely right. I, I think, think I think in the young circles, Twitter is more yeah, relevant yeah, than right. Facebook. I, but I I think there might be more users on Facebook than there oh, might yeah, be on Instagram. Oh yeah, for sure, right? for sure. Because you're talking about uh, Facebook encompasses older generation. Yeah, exactly. People who are like yo, they stay connected from high school through Facebook. They stay yeah, connected with yeah, their yeah. their you know whatever friends. Yeah, no, that's that's what I think. It's more international, I think. I think so too, right? Really yeah, and, and I, I think that Instagram is more of like a young people thing yeah. in a way. Yeah, I mean, it's like more new age. It's a pop culture thing. Yeah, because I mean, like, I remember I was in ninth grade when Instagram, or at least for me, it started popping up for yeah. me. Maybe it's popping up for other people, but I was like in ninth grade when it just started kind of coming up, and I'll be like on Instagram, and it was like, it wasn't too much going on, you know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, like, you know, you go on there here and there. Yeah. It was, now it's like everything. It was, I feel like Instagram is like the new online dating, though. Instagram was the new online everything. You think so? well, it's, yeah, it's yeah, online yeah. advertisement, yeah, yeah, online yeah, yeah, status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think about it. I've heard yeah. this, which to me blows my mind. But I've heard this. Oh, they only have one million followers. Yeah, <laughs> like wow, it's, it's like this is like a, a, like a hierarchy, right? Yeah, so you're yeah. dictating people's popularity on yeah. followers, but people yeah. also importance on followers. Yep. Because obviously, why well, isn't the popularity always? Well, you know, that's your that's your like status symbol now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, it's like, and the blue check mark, obviously. You gotta be certified. You yeah, once you uh, certify, you you on another level. I guess I'm but like so that's a thing that Instagram is like that popularity contest. Like yeah. yo, but they got you know this many followers. Like yeah. and and it's also a business thing. Well, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, Kim Kardashian, uh, Kendall. Yeah. Right. These people uh, are Kylie. 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 Kylie, Kylie, Kylie yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, it's, isn't it? Kendall has the highest now. Uh, Kylie. Kylie? I think it's Kylie. No, Kylie. Kendall is, right? Kendall is the Kylie? model. Kylie yeah, yeah, yeah. is Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Kendall. Kendall, oh, okay. Kendall has, uh, I don't know about followers, but she has one of the, now, yeah. one of the highest paying Instagram stuff. So, like, if you, oh, she, you wanted to, like, post on hers, well, I know she was the and she's the highest paid model, model, for sure. Yeah. But uh, because of that, and she's also one of the most popular Instagram yeah, followers. Yeah, yeah. Selena Gomez or something like that. Yeah. I know Christian Ronaldo, out of the yeah, actors, he, man, he is, like, one of the best. Um, but like you know, that's their profit. That's their like yeah. dictating culture. That's like that's the proof of all that you know. Oh, Instagram yeah. is, is popping. It's money. But you know, but like for I guess for like the new kids now, right? Like especially the ones graduating or like second high school now. That's kind of like their everything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. you know, it, it's not even about like what like how much money you make for most of these mm-hmm. people nowadays. Like especially for the younger people, it's about like. How how popping on yeah, your Instagram? Course. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, you're not like, yo. I mean, that's something that's new though. Like, people literally value more popularity over success. Success to them, success is popularity. Right, right. That's the, it's like fame. Over yeah, money, yeah money, exactly. Kind of stuff, they yeah. want fame. They want clout. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That word. They want clout, exactly. and they want them be popping over actually being. Which is which is like, I mean, in a way, I don't want to say it's fucked up because this is just like a a transference. Like, I feel like social media is a transfer of how this was in the real world anyways. You know what I'm saying? Like, back then, before social media, before the internet, people were like this anyways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, people were still trying to, like, you know, have the best clothes and the mm-hmm. best, you know, look or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, everybody was like, oh, like, this person has a reputation for being But fresh. it lasted longer. Uh, well, not, 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 I want to say, well, maybe it lasted longer because you, you say, like, our, our focus is, like, so new. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. Well, the reason the re- the thing now is just more is bigger. Like, for example, like, you bombard it quicker. Like, look, well, you know, wanna, whoever look. was famous yesterday has to do something new today to stay relevant. Right. Because today somebody else is already right, popular. Right, right, So that's what I'm saying. Like, because you're exposed to more things, our attention is not grabbed as as strong yeah, as it yeah, used to yeah, before. Yeah. So, for example, even in fashion, like. People, obviously, we all understand fashion has always been, you know, the fall and the spring, right? Fall. So it's always, what's next? What's next? What's next? But at least it lasted that long. In music, an album could last you a year. Now, people, we were talking about well, this, yeah, yeah, even yeah, musicians, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even musicians yeah. will tell you, you know, like, yo, you have to be dropping tracks constantly. Like every day. If you want to, yeah, if you want to stay on the top. Yeah. Because if not, somebody else it, moves it, up. It, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, a, a, it's overpopulated. It's, it's like, like it's, it's, it's overpopulated. And so it's consumerism, like, so, like, because yeah. because the consumer demands the market, the market is, uh, the consumer is saying, what's next? Give me some, give me some, give me some. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense, that was sense. dope last week, but what's, what's today? What's today? And yeah. so the young kids nowadays are willing to do whatever it takes. Mm-hmm. 
to be number one, yeah. which is crazy, which is, I mean, which I, I respect in a way, but I also think it's dangerous. I mean, yeah, you gotta respect, I get it, you gotta respect the hustle. But it's dangerous. Why, why do you say dangerous? Because, I, I mean, some of the things they do, I feel like they don't process the repercussions of what they're about to do, you know what I mean? Just for the sake of, the, of, of, of a clout, you likes, mean, followers, oh, yeah, whatever. You, you mean like the actions that they take, yeah. like not just dropping a lot no, of music, no, no, no. you mean like... I mean in general, yeah, like, I mean like in general. Yeah. Type shit. Like a Takashi 6 Like, uh, yeah, that, that's a perfect example. Yeah. But, you know, you know, that he's like him, Lil Pump, Lil, all these Lil's are like the role models of this generation. Yeah, yeah But sure. they promote a lot of things that, you know, and I'm not questioning the music because they're making money, whatever you want to do. Yeah. But it's like, you know, like this double cup or, or the lean or whatever. All these things that, you know, you are you are telling your followers or whatever. Because in everything interview, in every video, and everything, you have something along those lines. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, you're promoting this and people follow you. Yeah. And I think that's dangerous. Yeah. Or, or that people who do like some stupid things just for, to get viewers, you know? Yeah, it, it, it's, a, I feel interesting. It's like, you're saying they have a responsibility um, that most people don't have. Yeah, and, and, and I understand they don't want it, or they didn't ask for it. Right. Well, it but, comes, it but comes. But it comes. It's like you know the whole Spider-Man speech, right? With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, but I think most of them don't care. You no, know I, don't, I don't. I don't. And the realistic is the thing, though. Like they gotta look at like these guys are gonna fuck up regardless. I, I mean, I think that I remember when Miley was coming out to uh -huh. you know doing her transition from Hannah Montana to yeah. Miley. There was a lot of angry parents, you know, like oh, why are you like this now? Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't, I don't think that. You know, people need to start blaming artists. They need to start blaming themselves. Because, because I'm going to tell you why. Because if your kid is looking at somebody doing something and then they get influenced by that, I think it depends on, you know what I'm saying, like, who, who, what happened? Can I get the charger back, please? Are you leaving? Can you give me, like, a few minutes? Because right. I'm using it to record. Huh? Are you leaving? No, I just need it. For what? To charge my phone. What person? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. No, no, I believe you. It's just that my battery's low when we're recording, so. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Can you also pull off the case? Because I can't do it, and I know you're strong. What the hell did you do to it? What kind of case is that? I don't know. It's just a small case. No, really don't break it, me. <laughs> like, what are you about to do? It's going to break. It's plastic, though, right? Oh, yeah. P oh PCU, what it's called? I'm sorry. TP. I have to edit this out. <laughs> I'm not going to edit nothing. No, no, of course not. This is real life. This is who we are. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, bro. Show me that flex. You want to break it? Thank you. I, I can't, it does look stiff though. Yeah. Throw it from the roof to see if it works. No, I'm fine. Come on, this will make us, this for the clout. Perfect example of what we're talking about right now. No. Kids no, doing no, dogs. No. <laughs> no. What was I saying? Uh, that the responsibility of the parents because... Right, right, right. Because, you know, it, it's this whole thing of like, of why, especially... Like, like who's you raising know, your children, basically. Like, yeah, like, yo, if, you're, if your kid is looking at somebody that is easily influenced by them, you gotta kind of look at yourself and be like, yo, what what principles did you instill in your yeah, yeah. kids? And like, you know, why are they choosing to go, you know, outside of what you taught yeah. them and look at somebody else? No, you know what I understand. Yeah, so it, it's it's not really the especially like like these young guys like you're saying a like little pump like oh, little pump started when he's seventeen, maybe yeah, yeah. eighteen, nineteen now. Like no, no, they're gonna fuck up. They're gonna fuck up. No, no, they're no, gonna no. make you I, I understand that, and I understand that, and I understand that, that it'll be it'll be dumb for us to think that they're gonna be mindful. Of the influence yeah, they yeah. have, I because they're kids. At their age, they don't understand that influence. You see the shift, or you see some people who are built differently, and they understand the responsibility, right? One of the guys that you're big on is Nip, but Jay Z, all the guys, but they were older, older. people. Yeah, so Nip I understand like 30, that Nip yeah. is like 32, 33. Yeah, you know Jay saying? is like, forty something now. Jay's like fifty. Oh, Jay's, Jay's forty something. Jay, it, I think it, Jay might might be like yo, maybe forty eight. Yeah, and I, I understand, understand, I understand you know, like yo, know, but then there's that's an older look. So I'm going to tell you something right now that I've really realized. A lot of the interviews I've watched about a lot of these rappers, singers, musicians, it's almost during that age of 30. That, yeah. so, so Meek Mill. Meek Mill was on Ebro before all of this, like, you know, jail mm -hmm. stuff happened. And he was like, yo, man, look, man, I, I'm 30 now. Um, I'm older, you know what I'm saying? I can't be on, like, you know. He's, he was saying, he's like, yo, I was on some young boy shit, wilding out, popping perks, uh, sipping lean, all that bullshit, right? And in his 20s, he's like, yeah, I'm 30, and I'm trying to be serious, I'm trying to be more mature. And, 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 and it, you know, you get to yeah, that. Yeah, like, Wiz Khalifa was saying the same thing. Wiz Khalifa was like, yeah, I'm 30, I'm 30 now. Um, he was in the Joe Rogan podcast. He was saying the same thing. You know, he felt like when he was in his 20s, it was like his teenage years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was, he, he was wilding out. He was wilding out. And 
you know, a lot of these guys, like, it, it takes that, that time, you know what I'm saying, for you to, like, no, no, to learn, that. fuck yeah. up, learn from your mistakes, and then you're like, oh, you know what, let me yeah. get a little bit more serious. But, and but then, that, that's something, but that's part of the double-sided uh, weapon that is social media. Because for better or worse, these kids are looking up to them and they're building yeah, role models. Yeah, yeah, man. You get me? And, and you sure, the right role no, models. No, no, you're you sure, but like the, the the thing is that like there's always success stories, right? Like like now, Mick Mill is a success story. Yeah. Uh, I think Mick Mill's always been a success. Story. No, no, but I mean in the sense of like uh, the development of who he is. No, no, I'm not talking about just a success in rap music. I'm not, I mean, like, now in the, the social justice system, now in that area. Like, he's a full success story in the sense that this dude, like, literally, you know. I think, I think. He's starting from the bottom I, or whatnot. I now. think the thing with Meek Mill is that Meek Mill was, um, I think Meek Mill's been a success. But I think that what overshadowed Meek Mill was a lot of the Drake beef that yeah. happened. And, and then, you know, you, you kind of like. I feel like a lot of people kind of put Meek Mill to the side when that happened, you know what I'm saying? And then he goes to jail, you know, everybody's yeah. advocating for him. There's so much attention on the yeah. matter that, you know, er, like, you know, all the people you look up to are like, yo, free Meek, all of this, you know, it kind of like makes you like, oh, damn, like, okay, no, no, let, let me look at I, I, mean, I understand what you're you know saying, what I'm saying, but what I mean like, in the sense of success is like, you even see his, his um, you know, his word choice. His vernacular has changed. The way he speaks, expressing himself has changed. You think so? Because I think he's thinking bigger now. I don't think so. I think man. he's thinking bigger. Before he's been, he thought only Philly. Before it was only Philly. Everything no. about when he was young, everything he read was Philly. I, I, now, have you watched the Meek Mill interviews? I, the I, recent ones or the old ones? Recent ones. No. Okay. So if you look at any recent Meek Mill interview, he says something that I that I like a lot, and it's in his facts. He says. Yo, look, man, I don't want nobody to look at me like I'm yeah. some type I know, of activist. He even tweets that all the time. Yeah. I'm not about to be like some, um, you know, some goody-goody, whatever. Like, I'm going to still be me. I'm going to still ball out. I'm going to still go to the strip club. I'm going to still speak how I speak. I'm still repping Philly. You know what I'm saying? But I just have a platform, you know what I'm saying, to, like, try to, like, help other people. Yeah, like, I think that that's, I feel like that's what's changed a lot about me. I don't really that's think it's thinking bigger. I think it's thinking bigger. Now, I think you're talking more about what you've seen on clips on social media. No, no, no. I think in general, I think it's thinking bigger. Because even what you just said right now, right? Maybe he with says, Prism platform. Prism platform. Prism platform. platform. So he's thinking like, okay, I have a power to impact something that is not just for me or for Philly. Well, for Prism reform. Yeah, which is a big Only. deal. Right, it is. Yeah. But I'm saying, but... But I'm, at least from what I've seen and heard, I don't think it's been so much change in in what in what maybe you because okay because I feel like the way you're putting it is almost like yo he's completely changed like no, he no, still no, talks no, no, like no, no, no. he no, I mean, no, he no. still speaks how he speaks yeah, yeah. he's still like yo like, I don't no, know if you no, follow no. him on social media too like he's still out there in the strict he's still doing his shit like he, no. he's still the same Nick Miller I used to see back then like you know with Drake and all it's just maybe you know like his. His uh, some of his choices that he wants to do within his extracurricular activity have changed. He said like the reason he was wilding out so much crazy with Wale and all that stuff was because he was on drugs. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like if you don't know that, then you just think oh he's just wilding out, and most people didn't know that. You get what I'm saying? So you just think oh he's just wilding mm -hmm. out. Now that you kind of see, I, and I kind of get what you're saying that you see like this change. If you don't know where he's coming from though, then then are you then you look at a big ass change, you look at a big wave. But because of what happened, though, because of like everybody mm -hmm. advocating for me, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like, I, I understand where you're coming from, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like a lot of these guys, they don't necessarily like completely change. Like, no, they're no. still the Pretty same. Sure. And, and no, no one changes because in your essence, you are who you are, right? Right. But but I mean, like in understanding, there's a shift in understanding that your platform can be used for something other than just you, right? Yeah, and that's yeah. a big change because. That's what literally that's the idea of growth. And growth is thinking bigger than yourself, right? right. right? And, but in his sense, what I mean is, from the beginning, he's always rep Philly. He's always yeah. been proud of who he is and where he's come from, whatever the background he has, right? But he's always dreamed big. That, that's the thing that he has. But I'm saying in the sense that now he sees yeah. himself that like, I can dream big not just for me but for others. That's what I mean. A shift that I see in my opinion, right. and, and it's a shift that you see in all these entrepreneurs. We're talking about entrepreneurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is how can I leverage what I got? To give somebody an opportunity I didn't have. Right, right, right. I think that yeah, that's yeah. a big definition it's, of that. It's definitely growth. I'll give you that for sure. Yeah. Like, a lot of these guys, you, you do see the growth. I mean, like, um, and I guess like, on the topic of Mick Miller, like, he'll talk about, like, you know, for him, I think it was, like, Allen Iverson, mm -hmm. who was, like, the first guy that pulled up in a Rolls Royce in his hood ever. Yeah. Again, like, ever. Like, he never saw that before. You know what I mean? So, I, I, I absolutely understand where you're coming from. So, you know, like, in, in, that, in that sense of, like, you know, right now is 
you know, like a lot of kids are graduating right now, right? A lot of people are, are kind of moving on to the next chapter of their lives, mm -hmm. um, going to college and all that stuff. You know, even last year we did a video about this. You know, um, yeah, it was last year that we did a video mm -hmm. about like, yeah, the whole graduation. graduation thing. You know, I I I think that like you know, I guess like to kind of con con condense er er everything and I guess to get to the point is like you know, you guys like the youth or like the new people and stuff like that. They're gonna be like that next step, right? To make you to make the world a better mm -hmm. place and all of that stuff. You know, it's it's really like that that thought process that takes me to to another another place to think like, yo, how many kids are thinking about something bigger than themselves? Like for example, it took Meek Mill thirty odd years, right, to get to the point where mm -hmm. you, you know you say he's getting to. How many kids are getting there now? Are there now? Yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? I think it's it's uh, it just depends, you know. Both how you built and what you've seen, right? Like how you built, what you've seen, and, and what you've been exposed to. Uh, because you need yeah. to you need to teach and impart to somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. to think bigger than themselves, mm -hmm. right? Because the hood mentality is simple, and I don't blame the hood mentality because I understand the hood mentality. Is, I'm gonna get mine, you get yours. Yeah, that is the hood mentality. To bring it down to the core of it yeah, yeah, yeah. is, I'm gonna get mine, you get yours. I respect your hustle because I got my hustle, mm -hmm. right? That's the hood mentality. But the point of the hood mentality is that it keeps us in the hood. Yeah. Because I don't worry about the legacy I'm building. I don't worry about my future children because I'm trying to get mine for me now. Yeah. You get me? And, and that's the problem with the hood mentality is that it just creates a chain of poverty. Mm -hmm. When you break that mentality, when you start thinking, how can I put a trust fund aside for my child? I don't have to be a white American to have a trust fund. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be a white American to own property. I don't have to be white America to live in a suburban area where you're safe and I don't have to worry about my family dying, you know? Mm -hmm. Like... I think that that can only be taught through education. You gotta teach people because no one is born thinking bigger than themselves. We are innately selfish. The first word most kids have in common is mom, dad, and then mine. Yeah. We're born saying mine, mine, mm -hmm. mine, mine. And Instagram proves that. You know, my selfie. We're a selfie society. We're a look at me, look what I'm doing, look how yeah, I'm thriving, look selfie. at whatever, posting everything just so you can see my life, right? Mm -hmm. This is about me. And I'm, and I'm worried about how many people saw my picture. I'm worried about how many people saw my videos. And everything about self-esteem. Exactly. And, and that, you know, my self-esteem depends on you commenting. Because if you don't comment, then I don't feel good about myself. Because your, your opinion matters more than my own. Right? But that's the idea. Until you teach somebody to think big. You know, think, you know, you have the ability. You have the God-given talent. You have the opportunity, no matter how dim it may look, to change the world for yourself and for others around you. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a pressure most people don't want. Yeah. Most people will say I didn't ask for that. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Even those who have an opportunity and you hear in young people like Koda, Koda, right? Koda yeah, says yeah. it. I, I don't care. I didn't ask for that. I yeah. just do it me. Yeah. And I, I don't blame you because I understand that. But if you have the opportunity, you have talents, you have gifts, you have chances, you know, to do something for someone else mm -hmm. and pay it forward, that is I believe that that is what we're called to be on this earth for. For sure, man. I, I completely I could I couldn't agree with you more because that's that's kind of what I wanted to go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that the, the younger people, they need to hear that. You know what I mean? And I think that sometimes, like, you know, we we're just talking about today. It, you know, like, your mom, your dad, or somebody close to you will tell you something, and you might not listen mm -hmm. to it. You know what I mean? For whatever reason, it was like, ah, you know, for whatever reason, maybe. You know what I mean? You might not listen to it. It takes, like, a stranger, you know, somebody to kind of, like, let you realize, oh, shit, you know what? Maybe they're right. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's exactly what, like, we're trying to, like, do here regardless. You know what I'm saying? Try to reach. I mean, it don't matter what age you are, right? No, no, no. But you know, like at least for me, I always dream about like the you know, like I always say like the little the kid, kid and, just you know, stumbles upon this video. Yeah, and... because you know, like I think that like that that whole process right there is new. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I realized something that, and and it took me to be in the position that I am at work today, and and by position I mean like in the environment, yep. right? That I am today to realize that like yo, you're never done figuring life out. Ever, you know, people think that like, yo, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna get a job, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a house, I'm gonna get a husband, I'm gonna get kids, I'm gonna live happily ever after. That's not true. You know what I'm saying? Like, realistically speaking, man, like, there's always gonna be like that factor of mm -hmm. you wanting more, yeah. or of you making it, or of you trying to figure something out. I know somebody now that you know she was telling me like, yo, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do, and she's in her forties, and I was like. That's beautiful. That's good. That's beautiful. I was like, I was like, yo, I hope, I hope you don't think that you should have had it all figured yeah. out by now, because right now is when you should start. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like again, like like I've been hearing a lot of people say 
and and I've been saying this for a while too. It's like, yo, don't just go off of like you know what you've experienced because some people's experiences aren't the greatest. You know what I mean, some people have bad experiences in their life, and they let those experiences dictate how they're gonna how their attitude is gonna mm-hmm. reflect in the world. You shouldn't do that. You know what I mean. You should kind of look at other people's lives also. You know what I mean? Learn from them. Learn from their mistakes. And try not to do their mistakes. Try to make what they did their blueprint. Try to make that better mm-hmm. for you. And, and and flip it around. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, that's the whole point. You know, your energy, this world is all meant for that. You know what I mean? For you to be better. Yeah. For you to strive. You know what I'm saying? It's what God created us for regardless. You know what I mean? For you to do something to impact. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To influence, to be better. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, all these people that are, are very young right now, and they think that like, yo, I'm 23, I'm 24, I'm 25, and I'm, yo, I see these people out here and they're traveling and they're buying purses. And, like, yo, don't do that. Because honestly, this is personal for me. I fucking hate that. Because I call that um, life complainers. I hate life complainers. I hate people to say, fuck, I wish I was a millionaire already. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that shit brings me down. Like, it, again, like I said, it's personal. So you might not give a fuck and that's fine. But for me, it's, just, it's personal because it's like, fuck, like, I feel like that kind of attitude is a negative attitude to have. Yeah. Like, there's people that will complain about, like, oh, I got to work three jobs. It's like, you need three jobs, though. So you should be thankful that yeah, you, you have got three, three jobs. jobs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, because, you know, at the end of the day, like I was saying, I was, the, the amount of money that you're going to need in this life all comes down to the kind of lifestyle that you want to have. You know what I'm saying? If you want to have a, a flashy car and a flashy house... You're going to need a lot of money, so get your ass to work right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you can live, I guess, like that minimalist... And again, there's minimalists that are that live big, minimalists that live down here. If you want to live that minimal, minimalist life and, and be simple and be comfortable and stuff like that, well, then your financial goals are going to be a little bit less than the ones from other yeah, people. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's all up to you, you know what I'm saying, to, to dictate what it is that you're going to do. But the point here is that it doesn't matter where you are in your life right now. Stop comparing and stop like, yo, I got to do this. I got to do that. Especially for the younger ones. Because you guys are right now are graduating high school. If you're watching this, you're graduating from college, whatever. You're going to experience a lot of this right now. Because in high school, you probably didn't give a fuck about what car you had. Because you're not supposed to have a car. Or what job you have. You're not supposed to have money. You know I mean? like in high school, most people don't have real money. You know I mean, The money they have is like allowance that the parents give them. or Because you guys sell shit or whatever. You know, like. It's not really like a job, mm-hmm. I have to I have to pay bills, you know, most people, for the most part, you know. So I think that this is a time where, you know, I, I want you to know that you're going to experience yeah. or have this type of thing where it's like, fuck, like, I should be here, I should be mm-hmm. there. But no, it's your life, it's your time, it's your choices, your decisions that are going to take you there. Yeah. I understand that some people need pressure, you know what I mean? Like, you need that yeah, pressure push. to make you better. But I think it's important also to, like, realize that, you know, like, everybody, like, they're their process in life is very different yeah. there's people that are 50 right now that are still trying to figure it out you know i, I think the only thing we should all have in common is have good work ethic and keep dreaming yeah i think the moment you stop dreaming you die yeah that's what life ends for me i, I don't very think true. life ends if you take the regular route and you get married at your 20s you have kids don't just don't stop dreaming you know if you're a mom that doesn't mean you're only a mom if you're a dad who works a nine to five, you're not just that. Yeah. Right? If you take the the other route and you are creative and you you know, you go a freelancer way and you do it your own way out of the box, out of the stand of your parents, that's dope. Just keep dreaming for a bigger thing, a bigger world, a better world. And I think that that's what's gonna push us to pursue dreams and, and pursue goals that everybody else might look at you and think you're crazy. Mm-hmm. But you have this dreamy mind and that push that drives us. Yeah. That gives us uh, even when you're down, that gives us that push to keep going. Even when, when you're like scratching your head like, what am I going to do here? You're going to remember, it. this is why I'm doing it, right? Yeah. So I, I think that the moment we stop dreaming, we die. I don't, I don't think dying is your funeral. I don't think dying is, is, is that RIP graveyard. I think dying is when you stop dreaming. I think that's because there's some people who are not alive, but they're dead. That's perfect. Like, and you said the best, work ethic and dreaming. Yeah. Perfect. Because you know, even, even like for guys, like, Yo, for a guy, I mean, you know, again, you can have <laughs> two, two ways about this, right? Like, there's a girl that's going to say, I don't care how much money you make. I just care about that you have a, a goal and that you work hard. You know what I mean? Like, you're not on the couch, which we all know is a lie. Yeah, let's be honest. That's a fucking lie. That's like that's like very grown woman conversation. Yeah. That's like, I'm in my 
late 30s. So I've been through it all. So yeah, yeah, I done seen it. I just want some real love. Yeah. I'm independent. That, that's the kind of like talk that you hear from, from you know what I'm saying? For the most part, you need to have your money, right, for these girls. For the most part. Yeah, let's be honest. For the most part, you do. But, you know, but, but what you said, though, is perfect. Like, if you continue to dream, and dreaming means that, because dreaming means a lot. Dude, like, dreaming will push you. Because if you, because dream, to me, if you tell me dreaming is believing in yourself mm -hmm. and believing that you can accomplish what it is that you yeah, have said. Yeah, about being complacent. Exactly. And if you have that, that you feel like, yo, I can do this, I can make this happen, and you have a good work ethic, that means that even when you're fucking tired and you don't feel like doing shit, you're like, you know what, fuck it. I have to because somebody else is working harder yeah, than I'll me. I put my friends oh, put forward, yeah. Exactly. Then that can take you somewhere. And even if you don't get to your goal, that entire destination, that entire journey that you had it's is what be matters. Yeah, it's you know be what beautiful. I'm saying? Like, that struggle is what matters. And you're going to be an inspiration to somebody, whether that's your children or whether that's your friends or whether yeah. that's some stranger. Yeah. They're going to look at you and be like, you know, they didn't get there, but I can get there for them. Because of them, I can get there. Exactly. I can stand on the sacrifice that they did, and I can go further than they ever would. You know, exactly. I, I, I think that that's what's all about. Mm -hmm. Is living big, live, like, dreaming big, working hard, and paying it forward. Mm -hmm. that, I, 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 that's how I would resume life. It, yo, you can, I think you ended that eloquently. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, man. So, you know... If you think we're dumb, if you think our opinions are retarded, if you thought what we said are, was are you allowed, helpful, are you allowed to say retarded? Does YouTube let you do that? that that's a bad word, right? That's retarded. an offensive word. I don't know if YouTube lets you say that. Why? What's an offensive word again? Because it's like. Because you used to say special needs. That's what we thought. I didn't mean, mean special needs. No, I, mean, I don't no, think I'm special no, needs. No, no, but when you say retarded, you mean dumb, right? Okay, yes. But that's an offensive way of saying I mean, it. You think we're special needs? <laughs> no, no, we are opinions, dork. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you think our opinions are special needs, you know, <laughs> or you think our. <laughs> That's what's so dumb now that you say it. What? Nah, I was supposed to say it. Oh, no, man. You guys are gangster. We love you. We appreciate the support. The view. Even if you just watched the first three minutes, got bored. We appreciate the support. the first three minutes, you didn't watch it, just know that you're not listening to this right now. <laughs> Whenever you flash forward all the way to the end, you know? I already thought that, but okay, cool. Yeah. Yo, I'm just saying. Maybe I like skip. Cause skip, skip if you watch skip. three minutes, you definitely didn't get to this part. Okay, right? for sure. Wait, whatever you, I don't. You know what I mean. It's been like maybe like a thirty minute conversation. Yeah, Yo, you did press record, right? Yeah, it's still recording. We see it from here. I see the video. I don't see the time. Nah, bro, it's recording. Trust All me. Right. Man, I know your iPhone better than you. That's a shame. I don't see time because the time is in the middle. All right. So, uh, guys, thank you for everything. Follow, subscribe, like, comment, DM, whatever you guys want to do. We want to interact. We want to get to know y'all. So we can disagree with you. Thank you. We are. I'm done.